Welcome back guys, Jeff here. Hey, today we got a real simple cook gonna go on. We got the uh, Traeger warming up outside to about 250 degrees. We're cooking with some pecan pellets today. What I decided to do was go pick up a nice spiral sliced ham. Figure holidays just around the corner. Why not give this a shot? So we're gonna whip up a nice Dijon maple glaze for this. But first we're gonna start out, we're gonna get it out on the Traeger. We're going to let it cook for probably about 45 minutes at, again, 250 degrees. reason we're doing that is we want to get some smoke infused into here. This guy's already pre-cooked. I could whip off a slice right now and have a taste. So, why not? Boy, is that going to be delicious when we heat this thing up. Let's get it out on the trigger. All right, so our ham's been cooking for about probably 35 minutes, so I figured it was time that we would whip up our nice uh, Dijon maple glaze. We're gonna start out with some Aunt Jemima. I think we can call our Aunt Jemima again, not sure, but I will. We're gonna put about, recipe calls for a half a cup. That's probably more like a cup, but I wanted to fill the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to put some Dijon mustard, and it calls for just a little bit of this stuff, like two teaspoons. So we'll put that much in there. Then some ground nutmeg. It calls for about the same amount of nutmeg. Tea, tea table, excuse me, teaspoons. So we'll just put a little bit of that in there. Boy, the aroma coming off of this thing is unbelievable. This guy now, now we're gonna put some cinnamon. Same amount of cinnamon. And then my little secret that I'm gonna add to the recipe, some Land Lakes butter. Can't go wrong with some butter. That The butter will actually help it stick to the to the ham. And of course our brown sugar. We'll let that heat up a little bit. And we'll take our whisk and just mix that up nicely. Oh, does that have a nice smell to it. Boy, is that aroma unbelievable. I always say smell with food. I guess you don't want to smell it, do you? Oh, is that glaze gonna be beautiful. Perfect, we're gonna let this butter melt and then we're gonna take this guy right out to the tree. All right, so we're out at the Traeger and our uh, ham's been cooking for about 45 minutes. So I thought we'd come out, give it a check and see what we think. Boy, that's looking amazing. What we're gonna do now, so we're just gonna grab our glaze. job with this glaze. Pour that right over the top. We'll spin that around. Make sure we get the whole thing. All right, that should be good. So we're gonna close this up. We're gonna let it sit for another 15 minutes at 250. 
350 degrees. Then we're going to crank this Traeger up to about 325, 350. All right, so I decided to bring the ham inside because the neighbor's got the leaf blower going. And there's no way I could talk outside and you'd be able to hear me. Huh, maybe that might be better. Anyhow, so what I decided to do is I cranked up the Traeger out there. It's up to about 400 degrees. We're gonna take the rest of our glaze, our maple glaze. We're gonna pour it right over the top. I'm gonna to give this guy a good bath. I'm going to douse this thing really good. Use it all, because what are you going to do with it? Just throw it down the drain? And then the idea is we'll get this out on the Traeger. We'll get that right out under the Traeger at 400 degrees, and then it's going to caramelize it, and it's going to be beautiful. Just gonna be like having a piece of ham candy. All right, so we went outside and we pulled our ham off the grill and we brought it inside. And would you look at this baby? This thing looks absolutely, I don't know, maybe breathtaking. I think we're gonna have to do my favorite part of our cook here. Wow, the moisture in here, unbelievable. Boy, is that good. That's really good. Wow. I was too excited to try this thing. So what we ended up doing is we cranked up the Traeger to about 400 degrees. And we left this in there for 30 more minutes. I wanted it to caramelize the, the glazing a little bit on the outside. And I think that was a pretty good move because this is to die for. One might say it's absolutely amazing. Wow. If you like what you see, please click the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell thing so you can see our next video. Thanks guys. Wow. Boy, is that good. Let's have some more. Don't mind if I do. Wow. Amazing.